The deadly shooting has raised significant questions about the effectiveness of the security tasked with protecting the former president. As WRAL's Laura Levine reports, the probe has already highlighted a series of failures that allowed the gunman to breach security and open fire at the rally. Secret Service now under fire after former President Donald Trump was shot at during his Pennsylvania rally. Good to respond effectively. That's the next step. But through planning and, and good intelligence gathering and you know strong security strategies and, and protocols, they, they, they first and foremost have to prevent this from happening. This is former FBI assistant director and former head of the FBI Charlotte office, Chris Wecker. He calls the string of events a security breakdown from start to finish. You plan for everything to go wrong. And the planning phase of this seemed to have broken down because a 20-year-old was able to get on top of a building, crawl around with spectators watching and calling it out to the to the people nearby, the police nearby. They said, they say, see something, say something. They said something. Security experts point out a fundamental failure in the pre-event planning and real-time monitoring. Swicker believes the perimeter should have been pushed out further. The roof covered and says the response and the lack of quick communication to the detail on the podium could have been life-threatening. Their job is not to stand there and shoot it out. It's not to stand Stand there and assess the situation. Their, their job is to get him out of the danger zone and, and on his way. And, and in fact, a little known fact is the Secret Service until yesterday has never fired their weapon in a protection detail to protect a protectee. A close call with this photo now shared around the globe, raising alarms. He ducked down very quickly, got low, but then he resisted getting off the podium and that was his, that that was his personality coming through he recognized this was a moment and he you know he he pulled his head up and he pumped his fist great moment for him but the Secret Service should never have allowed that. While Trump rallies size and exposure pose particular challenges, the future of how all large political events are held in the future is under the microscope. This will be studied and this will be a lot of lessons learned, but it won't maybe not quickly enough. But I, I, I think the point's been made. And I think we, we, the DNC, the RNC and, and rallies going forward, you're, you're probably going to see whoever's speaking on the on the podium in some sort of uh, bulletproof plexiglass bubble. Laura Levine, WREO News in Raleigh. That would be quite the sight. The FBI has confirmed there will be a thorough investigation to determine what happened and how the shooter was able to get into position in the first place. This investigation could take months and may lead to changes in security protocols and procedures. The Secret Service wasn't the only protective force there yesterday. Local law enforcement agencies also bear responsibility for keeping a high-profile visitor safe. WRO's Carly Haynes is live outside the Wake County Sheriff's Office with how departments are trained to handle these events. Carly? Gerald, it starts with agencies being notified that a high-profile person will be coming to their area. Then extensive research goes into where that person will be at all time and if there are any known or unknown threats. Deputies surround a VIP. When there's a threat, they run to their positions. This November training showed how the Wake County Sheriff's Office should protect a high-profile visitor to the Triangle. It was four days of uh, close protection, keeping somebody safe, um, identifying and engaging threats, uh, and getting our protectee out of the area. Led by the Diplomatic Security Service, it detailed the roles local agencies may have to take on. Escorting, maintaining security checkpoints, or securing a building. Most high-profile people have their own protection. Uh, we're available and trained for support uh, if they need assistance. Big names come to North Carolina often. Nash County Sheriff Keith Stone has taken steps so his deputies know what to do during rallies similar to Saturdays. I've just sent two of my members to the North Carolina Highway Patrol Executive Protection Program, and we're gearing up to send them out of state some other uh, training. You know, preparation is the key to ensure that we don't have a mishap. Local agencies, the force multiplier, aiding Secret Service in ways you can see and under the radar. And the Wake County Sheriff's Office is constantly looking for new training opportunities. They say as long as that high-profile person is in their area, it's their responsibility to keep them safe. Carly Haynes, WRL News, live in Wake County.